So what's going on guys, it's Scritch here, and we are here today with episode 2 of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Invitational, and we're actually commentating over it today. We're going to do this kind of similar to how we did the standard games in the Monopoly series. This is of course the finale of the Monopoly series, and as soon as we have this tournament done, we will be starting season 2. Which I'm really looking forward to. So today we're playing against another fellow yu gi -Tuber, whose link will be in the description down below. We have Demo. And we actually recorded this game uh, live. We had some commentary going on in the background, but I've opted to mute it because we didn't really talk about much. Uh, I think for the next game, which is, I believe, against Heart of the Bards. I could be wrong on that. Um, I might try and, you know, get, get a live game. Just mix it up, you know. Because you guys, you know, you should all go and check out everyone that's in the tournament. Leave a like, a comment, and subscribe for everyone. And, you know, tell them Screech sent you. Because, you know, this was the main thing we did for this series. We did this series all to collab. And you get to see other people's decks and stuff like that. And when it's just videos like this with just me commentating, all you're seeing is a standard replay. This could be against anybody. So I really want to socialize a little bit more with some other players. Because, you know... All of us small creators out here, we are trying to get bigger, and collabs like this is usually what starts it. So he's playing Familiar Possessed, he's going to make Bahamut Toad with a couple of back row. Uh, we're going to start with Foolish and Chain an MST on a back row. Uh, my whole goal here for literally a solid 2-3 minutes of this duel was just to try and force this Toad negate out. Uh, we then opt to use the Core from Grave for the Cyber Dragon, the Core that we just sent of course off Foolish. We normal summon Core, but with no effect. We activate Monster Reborn, targeting one of his cards. We're just trying to force this negate, and he just is not having any of it. He just doesn't want any of this negate right here. He is saving this Toad for something special, but we are eventually going to force it out. So he allows me to go through with this as well. We now opt to make Verte, which is what he has to negate, but we opt for Machine Dupe. So now he has a choice. He has to negate the Machine Dupe or negate the Verte. He opts for neither, apparently. So we, uh, we end up with the double Cyber Dragons now on the board. We opt into Nova, we opt into Infinity, so now we have a negate for his negate, and we are free to use the Red Eyes Fusion whenever we feel like. So we opt for Infinity to suck up the Toad, he opts for Toad negate, we opt for Infinity negate, we are all Gucci here, and then we're going to go ahead and use the effect of the Red Eyes Fusion uh, from the Verti Anaconda to make Dragoon, and the moment this thing is sent, he is going to concede. He says, nah, I don't have any outs for this. And we move straight on into siding for game number And after siding, we move on to the next game. He opts again to go first, playing the Familiar Possessed. And uh, it was here he roundabout told me that he was having a few computer problems and uh, wasn't letting him chain to the correct card effects. But it's fine, it's all in good fun. Our hand again is looking alright. We have actually drew one hand trap, which was Ogre, which we have already used, I believe. But, you know... It looking pretty good, and I have no idea what he was doing with the Familiar Possessed. He also had a small Magistus engine in here, which was pretty cool as well. Magistus being one of the spellcaster archetypes from Genesis Impact, I believe. And uh, I think it was DZ that made a video uh, about the, the sheer power of just, like, spellcasters. You know, like, you have Dragon Link, and it's just dragons. Just dragons and dragon extenders. Spellcasters have just as much support as Dragon Link. But no one's playing, like, a, spe a pure spellcaster build. You always get the engines invoked. Should all to an extent. But no one's just going ahead and slapping loads of different spellcaster engines in. Magistus, whoops, is an extender. Uh, all the Magistus cards, you know. Obviously, you've got invoked. Secret Village is a phenomenal floodgate. And, you know, it's just it's just something to know. But we're going to start with Core here. Uh, I believe searching a copy of Emergency. We go ahead and make our Mirage. We're going to go ahead and use Repair Plant. Now we have a Cyber Dragon Engrave because, of course, uh, Core was sent to make the our Mirage. We get to search here, and it's, it's, it's good. I uh, I absolutely love the interaction with Repair Plant, and you, I, I will always play one in any Cyber Dragon build. Uh, we're going to get the search for Galaxy Soldier here. We're going to go opt for Emergency two searchals. Uh, I think we're just searching for anything here to discard off Galaxy Soldier. Uh, I, was, I think I was contemplating for a while to search Veard for another extender, but then I just concluded this is getting discarded off Galaxy Soldier anyway, so we opted just for the vanilla Cyber Dragon. Uh, we discard it for um, to summon the Galaxy Soldier, should I say, and uh, Galaxy Soldier will, of course, activate to search as another, and we're just going to do it again, this time discarding, I believe, the Cyber Elton, which is a little bit annoying. I liked that card, uh, and it was here he was just saying that, you know, he just doesn't have an out to Dragoon, and I kind of felt bad just slapping Dragoon on the board and ending the game immediately. But at the same time, I want to progress in this series and, uh, you know, take the title victory. So, 
uh, we opt for Nova, and it gets Solemn Striked on the summon, which was a little bit annoying, but it is fine. Nova gets his effect, and we get to summon a Cyber Twin, which I'm okay with. Uh, and now we're looking at what's in hand, and uh, I was like, you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll use Nashta here, discard the last card, we'll just go all in, and uh, we'll attempt to make a Verti Anaconda. And he's like, oh, you're going to make a Dragoon again, aren't you? And I was like, you know what, I won't make Dragoon here, because this deck doesn't revolve around just Dragoon, although it is definitely a top three card of the game. So we send uh, Cyberload, so not Cyberload Fusion, sorry, Overload Fusion, and uh, opt to make a Rampage instead, uh, opting to pop both of his back row. And of course, he's then going to get several attacks as well. Uh, I believe he gets met with the Familiar Possessed Trap here, uh, which I th think just lets him summon one. I can't actually remember what it does, because I have no idea what Familiar Possessed does. It's a structure deck I never really showed any interest in. Oh no, he pops a card, so he popped the Cyber Twin. Uh, we send some bits and some bobs, and we get a couple of nice shiny attacks here. And we are going to move on pretty much immediately to the battle phase. He gets a search, of course, off uh, one of the cats being destroyed. We get to beat over everything. We get a nice shiny attack with the Verte, and we're going to pass turn to him. He has the card he searched and the card he drew, and he's just going to set a mysterious card before normal summoning the card that he searched and passing over to us. And it's at this point we're like, alright, it's over now. Let's just send the Red Eyes Fusion as well. Rub salt into the wound, and that is the end of the game. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to start uploading these videos every Wednesday, and then we will soonly, soonly, is that a word? Soon, be moving on to the winner's bracket. Hopefully, we have one last game against Heart of the Bards. Make sure you go and check out Akurion, the host of the series, as well as Heart of the Bards, uh, TCG Wolf, and Demo, who are all in the bracket that I am in. If you enjoyed the video, you should also leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's been your boys to reach, guys. Peace!